So just like me, many of us are staying home due to the pandemic. We go outside every now and then, of course, to, you know, go to the beach, take a walk on the beach, you know, ride our bikes, go for a quick drive, get a little bit of fresh air. But when we come home, what do we do? Work out, watch some TV, play some video games. But a lot of those things that you have, that you have in mind and are doing starts to dwindle. And I'm giving you guys some of my movies that I've seen that you probably never heard of because a lot of us watch a lot of mainstream uh, media movies, stuff like that. But you guys don't really know about the independent side. Some of you guys don't know about the independent movies. I personally enjoy independent movies. They're great. I find some of them way better than these high budget movies that they have in theaters. So without further ado, I bring to you movies and TV shows you should be watching during these times. So the TV show or the miniseries that I want to talk about today is called Unorthodox. It follows a 19 year old Jewish woman named Etsy as she runs away from her arranged marriage in an ultra orthodox community in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York City. She moves to Berlin where she runs into her estranged mother and tries to navigate her life, trying to figure out what she's gonna do. She's, she, she, she doesn't live here, she just up and left New York and went to Berlin. And now she's trying to get into this music conservatory and her husband later on finds out that she's pregnant. So he and his cousin travel to Berlin to retrieve her on orders of the rabbi. So with that being said, Man, that, that's really crazy. If you guys watch this show, if you're like into religion or you were religious, you it'll definitely impact you in a certain way. She begins to question God. Is God real? Is my religion real? My mom? Man, and not to even mention, she didn't grow up with her mom. And that's another story in itself. And her father, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. This movie covers so much points on um, the religious lifestyle. You know, it looks all good glamorous on the outside or no matter of fact in the inside it's all nice and inside um, and glamorous on the inside but when you come out of it and you look outside the box you start to see weird messed up stuff man I'm telling you a lot of people know oh, <laughs> i don't want to even get you know what i'm not even gonna get into it if you watch the show and you know what i'm talking about you know what it is so even though the show is a drama it does come with this comical element let's talk about her husband's cousin. Now this guy, he's like an FBI of the Jewish community. He goes out and does the most. He, he sins. He does A, B, and C, and man, he's smoking. You know, because they're not in the city no more. They're in Berlin, so he does the most, man. He, he's he's definitely he's definitely up there, man. So this movie, let me sorry, this TV show is it's 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 a drama, but. It has some comical elements involved in it. And let's not forget, even though it's based on her, it shows her growth and her development. And she's making new friends. She encounters new people. She's just trying to get by and live a decent life, a new life, trying to start a new life, you know, in Berlin. So I definitely suggest this TV show, guys. It's on Netflix. The guys are at home chilling. If you didn't see the show, definitely watch this. Only four episodes, unfortunately. Wish it was longer, but four episodes, very good episodes. Maybe five or more. But it's a really good show. Check it out, guys. Subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Have a good day. Peace.